Legend Total War here, and today we're doing a bit of a Rate Your Doomsday video. This was sent in as a Rate Your Doomsday video, but this is not one of the obvious 10 out of 10s. So we've got Luther Harkon here with what he called a gunnery mob doomstack, where half of it is zombie pirate gunnery mob handgun, uh, hand cannons, the other one is handguns. And we're going up against three armies of Itza. This is a pretty damn significant force to go up against. Auto Resolve yields pretty good results considering. Like, that's fairly generous. Uh, another thing to consider is that when the save file was sent in, it was sent on a hard battle difficulty. Now, we, all Doomstack ratings have to be bumped up to very hard. So I've gone and done that. It will be on very hard battle difficulty. Um, let's just jump in here and see how it goes. But it, it kind of feels like this is more of a disaster battle than a Doomstack rating. And uh, I just don't have a lot of confidence in this one because this one here is very terrain dependent. And also, these units are incredibly squishy. So while they might have a lot of firepower, um, I think that the uh, it's very difficult in this sort of situation here to walk out of it with like none of your units getting wiped out. Also, this terrain is that is not good. Yeah, this this is not good for trees. And you got reinforcements coming in from that flank there. That is bad. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a rate your doomsday video, but that's what it was sent in as. Okay. Okay. That time is up. How are we gonna deal with this? Well, as these guys come up through here, this high ground here will be fairly good. But this one here is not so good because it's quite level coming up this way. So units behind here might not be able to shoot. So using it as an example, right? If I've got a situation like this, these guys here can shoot over their heads. But from over here, they can't shoot over their heads because they're not firing down the hill. If that makes sense. I just get out of my way for a moment here. I just gotta. I really need to assess this terrain. Would setting up over here be worth it? I don't know. If, I would if it wasn't for these damn trees. Because we've got a minute forty-six to get into position. Hmm, that seems like the obvious choice. They'll blob up, and that'll make it really good for um. Uh, Luther Harkon here. Really good for it. Because this, this here, this is a death trap for us. They're going to surround us and kill us. This is, this is a nightmare to stand on. Absolute nightmare. There is no way we're going to overcome them if they surround us like this. No way. Not against three full stacks. But from here, maybe. Maybe. Thing is, though, if it's a Raiding Your Doomstack video, not a disaster battle, right, then we need to test this army out. So I'm going to set up on this hill here, because if I go over there, then I'm basically just using Luther Harkon to win the battle. Whereas if I do it over here, then we're relying on the army to win the battle. If the army can't win the battle, then it's not a Doomstack. Right, so we're going to spread out a little bit. We're going to need to have guys aiming downhill. That seems pretty obvious. Uh, one of the problems I find with uh, gunner-type units is them being in loose formation makes it difficult to utilize small amounts of terrain. So you end up either super cramped or just obstructed. Also, you don't have a vampire wizard in the army. You can't heal them and you can't restore their ammunition. Aside from the... Uh, Gunnery wipes. Alright, let's we'll see what we can do here. Above deck. Let's see what we can do. So we can see here that we've got... There's a bit of a blind spot from here, but that's kind of where I least expect them to attack. But we can always rotate around because we use square formations here. Now, what I expect the AI to do um, is send uh, these horned ones around over here into the forest and charge at us from here. We have no protection against that. No protection against it. But the other option is coming down... Maybe I'll go down the hill just a little bit. Like, we might be able to use the gunnery right to tank a little bit, but honestly, um, these rotting Prometheans are terrible mounts for, for uh, holding the enemy back for a long period of time. They're not that tanky. 
Mm. Who's next? All right, well, let's just go in here and see what we can do. With pleasure. Right, you know what? You know, might be good, actually. Why don't we advance on them a little bit? Start finding them now. You know, we got a minute 30 before they come in here. Yeah, they're just going to keep dodging ammo. There's no point even doing that. But what they might not do is dodge it from here. By all means. Ready. From salt. The pirate nice. That's a really good spell, that one. But no arcane conduits or anything. We got to for some more magic. Alright, I'm definitely most concerned about all their, like, fast high damage dealers. And you guys need to move in a little bit more. I'm not close enough yet to start shooting at them. Okay, we're just within range now. I find that these bomb throws are not particularly useful. You gonna shoot? Alright, here we go. We're gonna get some shooting. If we can get them to advance early, basically what we wanna do wanna do here is try to eliminate this army as early as possible. But at least we're, we're starting to shoot them, so that's good. And they're just sitting there taking it. Nice, we're generating. I think we need a denizens of the deep soon to try to hold them. Oh, okay, here we go. They're coming in. Yeah, these ones coming around through here is going to be a big pain for us. I just don't have much protection against it. Turning these guys around isn't really going to help. Because they're not going to see them coming until the very last second. Okay, if you could instead shoot over here. So far, the Queen Bess has done no damage because they just keep dodging it. Right, take this one out. Okay, here and use this. Luther Harkon's a really good lord, but he's got some really trashy abilities. Luckily, the AI is being actually really derpy here. Ready to murder. Get me okay, killing that one fairly easily. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why aren't you shooting? What happened there? Okay. Okay. Something is shooting at us. Oh, it's a friggin' Blessed Stegadon shooting at us from this distance. Um, what can I do about that? Alright, Luther Harkins is about dealt with that. Oh god, tell you what, it's kind of a miracle they took so long to get moving over here. Very lucky. AI is so stupid. Alright, I need to get Luther Harkon over here. We've got to hold them back as much as we can. And they didn't even make use of the bloody forest here. Not really. But I need to get over here and land. Okay. Need to move into position quickly, get ready to start shooting like crazy. Yeah, this will land there. How are we going for this? You know what? Might even be better to use a Denizens of the Deep just to hold them back as long as possible. Use the summons. Because we've actually got a good amount of firepower here. How's this one going? Okay, now it's getting kills. Now it's getting kills. That's good. Hold them back as best we can. But I can't. I don't have that much holding power. I just don't have that much. We don't. Next to no front line. 
But everyone's shooting. Everyone's shooting, so that's something. What's Luther doing? Yeah, that's not very useful. Oh, here we go, here we go. We got incoming over here. Okay, this one's taking too much damage. Let's pull him out. Alright, how are we going for ammunition? This one could use a little bit. This is getting pretty badly damaged. We need another one of these. Just keep them keep them pinned down. Yeah, we're getting we're getting a bit wrecked here. Don't know what this one here is doing. Bounce pass still in our favor though. Come on, big blobs, go for that. Luther's getting wrecked. I gotta get him out of here. He needs some time to regen. You're gonna need to come out of there now. Okay, got another one of these ready to go. And there's so many of them blobbed up there. Plus, that'll really help that guy out. And I've run out of summons. I think we've got like a big monster on him. Yeah, he's got a Carnosaur attacking him. Can we get out of there? So be it, land lover. Gotta get you out of there. You done, did a good job tanking. This is why I don't like this mount that much. It's just really slow. How are you doing? You okay? Give me some more ammunition on the big bess. Big bess, whatever. And we got the army losses. Huh, well we won. How about that? I wasn't even sure if we were going to win that. But, you know, it handled it. It handled it. And that was a lot. That was really a lot. Ah, uh, I better end that before the one gets wiped out. Hmm, okay, well. Definitely felt more like a disaster battle than a doom stack. So one of our units got wiped out. Just one. Very easy unit to replace. Like you just raise the dead. In fact, there's a possibility that it will just be immediately raised as it is. But yeah, you don't have a healer on the army. And if you had a vampire wizard, you could um, you could use the summons to hold them back. Because I really struggled to keep them back there in this sort of situation. I appreciate this being sent in in a not easy situation. Like this would benefit from a choke point or from corner camping, and we couldn't really justify doing that in this battle. The corners were terrible for us. Now I got wiped out. Souls for sale. But yeah, let's uh, let's rate this. Even though it feels like it was a disaster battle. All right, so rating this. What do I think? It, it doesn't belong 10 out of 10. There's no way. Um, it's it's pretty good. Let's have a look firstly at the uh, money. Right, so we were the attacker. That's why they didn't rush at us. Um, doesn't cost that much, but that's not really a big problem for um, Vampire Coast anyway, just because of all the reduced upkeep costs that you have through here. So if we have a look at this, I'm mainly going to compare it to the Necrofex. So this costs 100. If we were to check for Necrofex... Oh, hang on, you got to go into Encamp Tanks too. Why can't you recruit them? Oh, you, you never... F it's turn 80. How have you not gotten to here? You haven't even maxed out your army. God damn. I think the quickest I managed to get to this in Warhammer 2 was like um, turn 20. <laughs> um, but then again, 16 growth. I feel like that's actually a lot slower than it is in Warhammer 2. I feel like it didn't actually cost that much. But then again, these other buildings here don't cost so much. I think what they want you to do is be able to build more of the lower tier stuff. But get to the l later tier stuff later. That, that does make sense. But yeah, looking at that, it says 475, but with all the reduced upkeep costs, I doubt it would actually cost that much. Um, yeah, so rating it. Um, I don't think it's amazing. I think that there are situations that it would really struggle with. And that was definitely one of them. We managed to win it, but it wasn't like a great victory. 
constantly having to re replace your um, zombie pirate gunner mobs is not difficult. They'll be easily able to, to get more of them, but you're going to lose the experience each time. Also, looking at the stat buffs they've got on them, I'm not seeing like big range bonuses or big damage output. They're, they're just not... It doesn't feel like a doom stack, right? And a lot of the units in here were on the basic side that we... On, and Luther Harkon did tons of that damage using the um, Vanguard's Revenge. So in terms of like an, a doom stack for the Vampire Coast, I gotta rate this something like 6 out of 10, right? Because it just doesn't feel like a doom stack. Um, it's not a terrible army by any means. It's cost effective. It just doesn't feel like a doom stack like that wasn't a sort of situation where i was like oh yeah i can't lose this scenario they can't beat me that was very losable if i didn't position myself if i didn't um advance early to smash them also the ai was absolutely stupid um that was prob probably one of the worst performances of the ai i've ever seen like they really dicked around to attack us if they had actually just rushed at us right from the get-go and as soon as they came in we probably would have lost that battle so, um, I'm not going to give points on this Doom stack for the AI being incredibly stupid. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking 6 out of 10 is valid for this. It's not terrible, but I don't think it really properly qualifies as a Doom stack. But there we go. We finally rated a Doom stack that wasn't, you know, in the, you know, high numbers. Um, wasn't a 10 out of 10 Doom stack, not a 9 out of 10. In fact, I barely even consider it a 10 out of 10. But... You know, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this the kind of thing that you would like me to be rating? Would you like uh, more of these sort of less efficient, um, earlier game sort of doom stacks to come in and get rated? Or do you still just want the one unit spams, tier 5 units, beats everything, can't possibly lose, unlimited healing sort of doom stacks? Let me know in the comments below what you would prefer and also what you would rate this doom stack. Anyway, that's the end of this one here. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.